so very good evening to all uh, today i would like to share with you regarding uh, a topic like uh, selection of uh, fasteners so any mechanical engineers the selection of fasteners is one of the important uh, uh, parameter or important concept should know that because uh, almost all the places in our day to day life we are facing the challenges like uh, the fastness selection as well as the fastness where we can utilize it first of all we should see what is mean by fastness so fastness means it's like uh, uh, like joining of uh, two metals or two non metals it may be anything right uh, so the joining process may be the permanent joint or uh, sometimes it's uh, temporary joints so permanent joints means like welding and rivets so once if it is welded we cannot uh, remove that right and one more is the temporary joints it's like uh, by using the bolt nut and washers even sometimes if you have the uh, like uh, uh, tie rod or something like that we can hold that component i just wanted to take a simple example like mounting bracket so i wanted to take the mounting bracket and mount in the wall or uh, any supporting structures so by using the fasteners like bolt uh, washer and nut so what type of bolt i can select and what type of nut i have to select what is the basic parameter of this bolt and nut so that's very important the so mainly the bolt and nut selection which is based on what type of load is acting on the structure and what is the force which is acting on the where we are going to hold the bracket structure so so once the load is acting on that particular structure we have to select based on that load number 1 then the next part is the material uh, selection even though if it is a fastener there is a material the material should be in uh withstanding the higher uh, temperature climatic condition and lower temperature climatic condition both the ways both the ways and some places even though uh, some critical uh, situations like if you have a fuel tank or hydraulic tank if you wants to mount some bracket structure with the hole by using that hole we have to mount the uh, bolt and nut correct it should not be leakage so for that reason they are using uh, uh, like uh, gaskets something like that okay so how we have to select on this basically uh, say for example if you take the m8 bolt or uh, m6 bolt so the bolt selections it is mainly you have a uh, the uh, data book in this data book it is mentioned especially in the chapter 5 we have the selection of standards and selection of uh, components you just see that these are all the many type of bolt which is available in this particular page suppose say for example if you take m8 bolt so this m8 bolt nearby there is the one more parameter one more values is called pitch 1.25 always you should mention in this particular uh, uh bolt parameter like m8 multiply by 1.25 so here m8 means metric thread i mean uh, 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 m it represents metric basic diameter of 8 mm multiply by 1.25 is a pitch correct so any drawing if you wants to take especially in the fastness drawing it should be mentioned like m8 into 1.25 which mean that by using this m8 bolt we have to hold that particular bracket structure correct so that is a basic idea about selection of bolt corresponding to that the type of bolt suppose if it is not withstanding on that particular load application we have to replace instead of uh, m8 bolt we can change it to m10 bolt even if we select this m10 bolt then that bolt we have uh, that uh, pitches around 1.5 five so once if it is selected that then here you can see that whatever the type of bolt we have selected and this uh, uh, corresponding all the parameters which is located here if you want to do the 3d modeling of this particular bolt section you can 
take this particular standard values this is completely as per asme standard uh, so take this all the values and create this particular bolt if you want to create a model like that then once if you selected the bolt section then automatically we need to select the nut also you can see here whatever the the bolt selected the basic die of m10 10 mm then corresponding the nut parameters everything which is available in this data book so by using the type of load what we have to uh, consider acting on this particular bracket structure and based on that load application we have to select either we can go with the minimum basic dia of the bolt or maximum basic dia of the bolt like maybe m8 or m6 or m10 or m12 type of bolt corresponding to that if you have to select the nut then the similar type of basic dia m10 bolt we have to select then only that should be match in that particular uh, applications so likewise you have to select the bolt nut and uh, washer even sometimes c clamps other supporting clamps also we have to select based on this standard values so with that i conclude maybe you can understand how we have to select the base i mean uh, uh, like uh, uh, fastness by this way you can be uh, you can apply on this particular uh, application to this real world then you can benefit on this particular selection of fastness thank you